Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're gonna implement our search bar functionality. So let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna go actually go to our dashboard controller for today. Uh, we do have our search bar right around here. And I wanna actually do some refactoring before we start implementing it because we have duplicated this code on multiple pages and it's kind of getting a bit messy. So I like to clean it up a little bit. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna extract it from the card go in our uh, shared folder in our views and create a new file i'll call it search bar dot blade dot php so this is going to be our search bar uh, one more thing i'm going to do is actually i'm also going to extract this follow box because we also have duplicated this on a few pages why not so i'll say follow box dot blade dot php and I'll format this a little bit, okay. And I think we should be good. So now we need to include both of them. So I say include, exactly like we have done previously. Shared dot search box. Whoops. For some reason, I can't really type today. And then this one was follow follow box. I think the search was search bar, okay. So let's go and see if it's working on our dashboard page. It is. Uh, I'll also copy this because we are using these two on another page, which is our show page. So I'll go ahead and I'll replace them here as well. And one thing we could do is we could have actually moved these to our layout if we wanted to. So we might want to do that later on. However, this gives us more flexibility. Maybe we can have different sidebars on different pages so for example on the view page maybe you don't want to add the search bar as a matter of fact well i guess not why not let's keep it for now but later on we can customize them if we want so the code look code looks a lot smaller now oh i forgot we also have this left sidebar let's also refactor this one because it's quite long so i'll do that i'll copy it i go in shared and i say left sidebar dot blade dot php and yeah why not while we are refactoring let's refactor this one as well left uh, sidebar and i'll go ahead and i change it in our dashboard as well and as you can see now our blade file looks very small very lean so easy to read and yep, same for our show page okay now i like this a bit more let's go and just ch check everything works we didn't break anything yep Everything's working. So let's go and implement our search functionality now. So I'll open up our search box. And what we want to do is basically whenever users click on the search button, we want to send a get request to our dashboard page with our search parameter basically at the end of the URL. All right. Sent as a URL argument or as a URL parameter. So uh, we can do it like we have done before. We create a form. Uh, I say action. I want it to be sent to the dashboard page. So I say route dashboard. And in terms of method, I want it to be a get request. And also uh, close our form. I format this a little bit. And I think we are missing a name. I also don't, I don't want the ID, so I'll get rid of the ID. What I'll do is I add a name here. And again, you always need the name. So it, it is actually sent with the form. If you don't add a name, uh, it won't be sent. So I'll give the name search. So let's go and test this out, see if it's working. I'll click, I reload the page and I say test. And if you guys can see at the top of the page, I'll paste it here. This was added at the end of our URL. So it is working. Now we need to basically process this in our controller, which is basically the hard part. I think what we have done so far, you guys should probably be familiar with already. You have probably have done that with PHP before. So let's see what we can do on our controller so i go on our dashboard controller and we can actually go ahead and process it here so what i want to do first is check if uh, if there is a search right if there is basically check the search value with our database Okay, so the way we can do that is we have a if statement and we can use the request helper, which we have uh, used so far. 
and it, it comes with a function called has, which checks if an argument or a URL parameter is present or not. So I can say if search exists, then basically we can go ahead and check for that in our database. All right, and what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to get rid of this. I'll add it to a variable here. I say ideas. Okay, and then instead of what we had here, I'm going to say ideas paginate. So this code is exactly the same as before. It's a bit longer, but this now allows me to actually add our uh, search in the middle. And the way you can search or basically do something like this in SQL. So in SQL, you would say where and then whatever you want to search. Content equals test, right? That's how you would search. Or you would say ID is bigger than five, right? The way you can do that in Laravel is by, on your models, you can call in the where method. And the first argument is going to be what you want to do the comparison for, or the search for. So I want to search for content. And then the second argument is going to be the value you want to match it to, right? So in our case, for now, I'll just type in test. Now, by default, this is going to be an equal comparison like this. If you want to change it to, for example, something like bigger than or smaller than, you have to pass in a third argument, which is going to be in the middle. And basically, that's going to be the type of comparison you want to do. Okay. Smaller than, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, you can add in here. In our case, I want to do a like comparison. So I'll put like because we are doing a search. So for me, I want to say content like, and then I want to have wildcard, let's say hello or test. This is what I want to do. So now that we have come this far in the middle, we need to actually pass in our search. So the way we can do that is like we did it on the previous episodes. I say request helper uh, get, and then I pass in the name I want to use search and I misspelled it search. And then for the default, uh, you can pass in something. I'm, I'm going to leave it empty because we are actually making sure that it exists. Uh, although I guess by default, I pass it an empty string just in case. And this should work. However, we haven't added the wild card yet. So what I do is I actually I add the wild card as well. So I say percent, boom, and also do it over here. So we have added the wild card. Basically, the code we have written below is equivalent to what I have written in SQL here. All right. So now that we have done that, I'll remove this. And this code should work but we can test it out just to be safe. And yep, it is working. So this is what we get by default. And then here I say search or test, for example, we can see it's giving us all the tweets with test. I'll do an empty search and you can see by default, we have 18 ideas. I'll search for three. And then, yep, we get the only tweet or the only idea with number three inside it. Okay. So it is actually working and yeah it's that simple guys this is how you can easily uh, do searches or do where queries with laravel now there are a lot more things you can do for example we have things like where year or uh, where date a lot more advanced stuff but for now i think this should help you guys do if you want to add more searches you can easily do them here as well but for now i'm going to leave you guys with this hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you want to learn something else. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.